the next section of wife of bath's prologue is called about youth and aging now till now even in the previous section uh, the the wife of bath's narrative was kind of a uh, linear first uh, she started with the pilgrims and then she uh, she said that she is going to talk about uh, her experience in marriages then she uh, talked about the first three husbands and in the very previous section just before this she had began begun to speak about her fourth husband now the narrative was kind of linear in one way except this small section of about 11 lines which becomes a kind of diversion and this section is a bit different from the rest which makes it uh, very interesting as well as important for a few factors we'll look about these factors first before beginning the section now this section uh, gives an insight into wife of bath's character and uh, a diff the other subtler sides of her character not the character that we know of from the other sections that we have been doing till now this section gives insight into the subtler side of wife of bath and it speaks about wife of bath triumph and mastery over the first three husbands which happened before this and then it gives way to a more a more melancholic atmosphere which is in the case of her fourth husband and this is not because of her husband this is because now she realizes when she talks about the fourth husband that she was aging and when she is saying this to the pilgrims now she is kind of an old woman so that is the reason for the melancholy and the dif and the difference is that previously while she was speaking all about her husbands now she kind of has a reminiscence a melancholic reminiscence about herself which we also see in the previous section to some extent why when she says that she was young and carefree and she wants to drink wine so this was a start of a reminiscence so with that we start this section but lord christ when i do remember me upon my youth and on my jollity it tickles me about my heart's deep root to this day does my heart sing in salute that i have had my world in my own time so this section is a fond remembrance of a youth when she thinks about her youth and all that spirited times that she was having and she says that it tickles my heart deep root the memories of her youth it cheers her cheer her up even now in this age when she is talking now she is an old woman and the memories of her youth it cheers her up even now and she says that she had my world in my own time this time is her youth when she was at the top of the world she was this carefree uh full spirited woman but age alas that poisons every prime has taken away my beauty and my pith so this is the reminiscence the fond remembrance that i was talking about and the realization that comes now that age it poisons everything it destroys everything because this theme of time as the greatest destroyer this is a very common theme in literature so time is the greatest destroyer of youth of beauty and of strength so wife of bath is now in that age where her age has destroyed her youth and now she is looking back to her beautiful days let go farewell the devil go there with the flower is gone there is no more to tell the bran as best i may must i now sell but yet to be right merry i'll try now will i tell you of my fourth husband 
so she says farewell to youth youth that was so dear to her it was kind of everything to her and she fully used her youth to marry so many times to get best experience for her in so many marriages she has done so many things in and outside marriages that youth she now has to say farewell to that youth which was dear to her and she says that when that is gone she has very little that is left but she still wants to sell that very little that she's got and she says that be right merry i'll try i'll still try to find joy in this age and she says that now i'll tell you of my fourth husband so this is a deviation in the previous section she she has started to talk about her fourth husband and she said that she was a a philanderer she was a womanizer and she had a mistress now this sec this small section was a diversion and from the next one onwards she'll continue again to speak about the fourth husband so this small section was a diversion now why is this small section so important because as i've said in the beginning of this uh, video that this section gives an insight into the other sides other subtler sides of wife of bath's character and it is a melancholy uh, reminiscence of her youth what is important to note is that in medieval literature not just in chaucer in other med medieval literature uh, old women were popularly portrayed as very bitter characters now this bitterness which the old women had it came from a kind of a sexual jealousy of other young women now that was a stereotype that medieval literature did to old women chaucer with wife of bath chaucer breaks the stereotype of the bitter old woman that is why it becomes so important wife of bath is not a bitter character she is melancholic and she is sad that her prime youth is gone and with that her beauty and her spirit have now diminished but she shows some grace in the passing of her youth she is not at all complaining that the youth is gone she just lets it go because everyone will get old one day and she accepts her old age and in place of that bitterness that had that had stereotyped old women in medieval literature in place of that bitterness she uh, shows some of optimism and she says that i still try to be hopeful about life even now even when she is middle aged and kind of old and she knows that she has lost her youth now she kind of shows that optimism this is a very important part of her characterization that uh, is there in this small section it tells us that wife of bath was never a unidirectional character she is not at all that dominant wicked woman that we were beginning to see false accusations extramarital affairs repeated marriages exploiting the husbands so it was kind of unidirectional till, till now now in this small section although this is a very small section it tells us with this section it shows the other sides other subtle sides of wife of bath and it tells us that she is not that unidirectional character that we were beginning to believe she is she we we have seen her dominant sides her evil sides and now we see her vulnerable side let's to say for the first time and she is vulnerable because as a woman in in that medieval society in chaucer society youth is someone that every woman very dearly held on to because it was said in a patriarchal society that youth and physical attributes of a woman are the only valuable things that she has and that is not forever because every woman gets old now a man doesn't lose his value when he gets old because it was said that the man is about wisdom and not the physical sexual body so a man when he gets old becomes wiser but 
because the woman is all about physical attributes and attraction sexual attraction as a woman gets old her value diminishes not like men a woman loses her value when she gets old that is what was believed in medieval times so youth was something that was very dear to her when she realizes that youth that youth is passing her she becomes very vulnerable and that is a different side we see of her and this is chaucer style chaucer kind of redeems her for a moment at least in this section before she begins to tell about her fourth husband and regains her dominant self